Hey, Drew, those are the engines Papa tested at the Stanley Space Center. New leadership marks the dawn of new beginnings. At the John C. Stennis Space Center, January 1989, will long be remembered in the history of this South Mississippi facility. You see, this was the beginning of a legacy when Roy S. Estes officially became the fourth center director of Stennis. Estes, a sixth generation native Mississippian and graduate of Mississippi State University, came to the center as a test engineer in 1966 and worked his way up through the ranks. His first assignment at Stennis, known then as the Mississippi Test Facility, was as an engineer testing the Saturn V S2 second stages for the Apollo program. In the early 1970s, then director Jackson Balch began diversifying the installation. Roy Estes was assigned to search for new and compatible federal and state agencies to share the vast facilities originally built for Apollo. While fulfilling roles in key positions at Stennis, and while serving on temporary duty at NASA headquarters, Estes earned the reputation of being a straight shooter. He has been described as a no-nonsense manager with a unique ability to cut through the chaff and to get to the heart of a problem or a situation. For more than 13 years, the center experienced phenomenal growth under his leadership. From the beginning, Dr. Werner Von Braun had a clear vision for the center in South Mississippi. When Werner Von Braun decided he wanted to build this place, he wanted a national center for testing. With Roy's leadership, in 1996, that vision was fulfilled and Stennis was designated lead center for rocket propulsion testing. Soon afterwards, history was rewritten as the center grew from three test positions to 12, with test articles in every position. And more than $100 million has been invested in the last several years to modernize and upgrade the propulsion test complex. Now, personnel are testing current and future rocket engines and components, not only for NASA, but also for the private sector and the Department of Defense. Stennis's roles further expanded in 1997 when it was named NASA's lead center for commercial remote sensing. Communities across the nation have benefited from Stennis's expertise in applying remote sensing technology to precision farming, disaster planning, environmental monitoring, and land use mapping. Roy Estes has overseen major development at this unique federal and commercial center. My opportunity to take over as director, I saw as a mandate to continue the work that had been started by Jack Balls to build this place into a multi-agency federal laboratory. Today, Stennis is home to NASA, its contractor team, and more than 30 other federal, state, academic, and private organizations, all sharing the costs of operations making it more efficient. Mr. Estes has guided the expansion of Stennis to its current workforce of more than 4,500, including 1,600 scientists and engineers, all contributing to an annual economic impact of nearly half a billion dollars within a 50-mile radius of Stennis. Roy Estes's dedication goes beyond the gates of Stennis he is also a strong supporter of community involvement, hosting numerous on-site events, including scouting jamborees, Special Olympics, international science and engineering fairs, and open houses, and the development of an award-winning visitor center, Stenosphere, was a result of the emphasis he places on sharing the excitement of space exploration with the public. Time and time again, Roy's leadership has been invaluable in providing solutions to some of the agency's toughest problems. In 2001, he served as acting center director at Johnson Space Center, where he oversaw nine safe and successful shuttle flights, eight of which were to the International Space Station. These missions tripled the size of this unique world-class laboratory and carried three space station expedition crews to and from orbit. However, Roy is always the first to say that people are the key to what makes NASA such a great agency. 
and he holds them dear to his heart. The thing that I will miss as a director here is not the uh, rigors of the day and the bureaucracy of Washington and uh, federal government issues. What I will miss is tremendous people. Although Stennis has experienced tremendous growth, Estes, not satisfied with just good enough, continued to spearhead new expansion. He helped cut the ribbons for three major facilities, valued at over $60 million during the last weeks of his tenure. Equally impressive, nine other buildings and major facilities are currently under construction. Roy Estes has guided Stennis into a prominent role for NASA's future human exploration and development of space. Drew, what do you think, son, if I told you that we're going to quit flying in space and that we're going to shut down the human space flight program? That would be bad, Papa. In the olden days, they went west in wagons. Aren't we trying to go to space to find out what's there and how to live out there? The foundation has been laid for the future. Those who remain behind must continue building on the legacy that Roy Estes provided NASA and the John C. Stennis Space Center.